guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today Ling Ling is in America. Yes, and today's vlog is going to be about my trip to Seattle and New York. Yes, I flew over from Beijing to Seattle on June 7 and then I was in Seattle staying with a couch surfer, uh, a guy from Hong Kong actually, that was really cool. I stayed with him for three days and then I flew over to Canada, but Canada is going to be a separate video for like the next one and uh, then my third stop on my trip was New York so I have put together New York and Seattle because I thought they match each other they're like in the same country and da 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 so anyways I hope that you will enjoy this vlog it's a little different from before because it's voiceover and not so much me talking on camera but I hope you like it anyways so without further ado let's get started da -da! Good morning guys! Welcome to a new vlog from Ling Ling. This vlog is about Seattle because Ling Ling is in, surprise, Seattle. On my first day in Seattle, I walked outside to check out the city. I looked at the city's graffiti and the slogans for a bit before I went to the supermarket. I was super fascinated by the variety of Diet Coke there. Oh my god, the amount of different Pringles as well really surprised me. I got my supermarket sushi because that's what I really like. I don't like to eat in restaurants on my own all the time. So I went to sit on a little bench outside to look at people while eating. I also bought some healthy snacks and of course I needed to watch a bit of Chinese TV as well. I can't go too long without my Chinese language kick. You know that. You know Ling Ling. <laughs> so after eating I went to Chinatown of course. I found a museum showcasing the lives of Chinese and other Asian immigrants coming to America. He was named after Wei Luke. He was a man born in southern China in 1925 and he moved here to Seattle when he was six years old. The museum was located in an old hotel, which was really cool to explore. I could feel the history coming out of the walls, you know. I just need to share a little success story here from Chinatown. I'm proud of myself because I read a book and the author told me, told me, the author wrote that you should be the promoter of yourself. And I was like, yeah, I know, I love what I'm doing, but I can't be my promoter, like that's weird, right? But now I just went into this Chinese museum and the girl at the reception, she was so nice. And I thought, okay, now you should do it. Just share your, you know, channel and talk about what you're doing. And I did it and I gave her my card and I'm so happy. <laughs> it's such a small thing, but it just, it was a huge step for me because I'm like, oh no, why should I talk about myself? But you know, it's just like giving it to her. I didn't even have to like throw myself out there and talk and talk and talk and talk, you know, and she's not forced to check it out. I just said, you know, if you want to have a look, then you should have a look and I'm so proud. On the second day, I went to the new Seattle Starbucks grocery and the first waiter I bumped into was from Beijing. I was so excited. I could use my Chinese language to talk to her about how they produce the coffee there. They're gonna make this roastery in Shanghai as well, so that's why she was there. She was just learning of everything about Starbucks and how they make the coffee really. After the Starbucks experience, I went down to the farmer's market at the harbor. It was so cool. So many people around. I checked out the fresh meat, the flowers and all the souvenirs, looked at people. I had a really great time around there checking everything out. Before it started raining, as it does in Seattle all the time, I was lucky enough to get a few shots of the harbor and then I woke back to my couch surfer host's apartment to chill for the evening. Seattle was super super cool. I saw all these really cool places and I didn't really meet any people uh, like apart from the couch surfing guy but it was still a really great experience. I was not a fan of the weather and I was not a fan of the hills up and down and up and down in Seattle. That's why I didn't like my student town in Denmark either but it was still a nice experience first time in Seattle and I will put that in my scrapbook and remember forever. So next up was New York. 
After Seattle, I went to Canada, but that's going to be another vlog. The third stop of my trip was New York, where I met up with my friend Vincent, who I met in Australia almost three years ago. His friend was staying over as well, and you'll see them later on in some other videos. We hit it off immediately, and I love my time there with them. Vincent is an amazing cook and has a supper club every second week, where he's cooking for new friends who are foodies as well. So on that Saturday, we went all around town to shop for the evening's menu. While Vincent was cooking, Vincent's friend and I talked to the new guests and everyone was so sweet. We enjoyed the delicious food with tasty drinks and talked with our new friends until the sun was rising. I know, what an experience. It was really cool. After that weekend, I met up with one of my followers who, of course, took me to Chinatown. You guys know me oh so well. <laughs> we had dim sum and he even brought a present. I was so happy. I spent all day with him going around the city to see Chinatown, of course, Times Square and Central Park. When the rain started pouring down, we had to say goodbye. I couldn't have wished for a better stay in New York. Wow, thank you so much for everyone who was seeing me there and hanging with me and taking me around thank you so much New York was such a cool experience it was so great to see my friend Vincent again like I'd only met him once in Australia like three year, three years uh, prior to this trip and a few months before I was going I was like hey dude can I come and stay with you in New York and he was like yeah of course and I was like Oh, he said yes. That's so amazing how you can meet people from all over the world and be friends even though you don't see each other every day or don't talk to each other every day. When you meet up, you're just like, hi. It's like I saw you yesterday. So, so cool. We went out to a bar with his friend and we also, as I told you about the supper club, so cool. You can check out his website as well. I'll leave a link below. You can find Mr. Jones's supper club. That was so cool. I've never had such tasty, delicious food. You know that I'm really bad at cooking and I'm not a foodie, but when people give me nice, delicious food, I really enjoy it. So that was so cool. I met so many amazing friends. It's so interesting to meet these American Chinese people. Like the whole crowd was all American Chinese. Chinese or Australian Chinese or Vietnamese or you know all like from the same area so that was really interesting because they're very often very curious to hear how is the situation in China right now so that was really awesome I met a lot of uh, new friends and also one of the followers from New York that was really cool as well so I'm just gonna say thank you thank you thank you so much and thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed my little Seattle and New York trip I know I didn't film that much but I tried you know on the way and stay tuned for the Canada vlog and stay tuned for the VidCon vlog and experience video and stay tuned for the San Francisco and California vlog, San Diego vlog. That's gonna be awesome as well. Follow me on my WeChat and my Instagram, my Facebook and my Snapchat. Snapchat is Lena around X. Yeah, not only Lena around, Lena around X. I don't know, somebody else took it. The name so me but I'm trying to upload and share as much as possible and I also have my patreon page if you want to support that so you can check that out as well links all below and yeah Ling Ling uh, we'll talk to you later have a nice day evening wherever you're in the world and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling is out see ya and I did